The following video is an easy signal tracing method for the Fender Champ model AA764. The equipment that I'm going to use for this test is a Heath kit model IT5283 signal tracer and our signal input source is a Heath kit model IG5282 audio generator. The reason I'm using an audio generator is it is difficult to signal trace an amplifier with a input such as a guitar that is random. You need a constant source for the test. I've also installed a dummy load resistor across the speaker output so we don't have to listen to the tone while we trace. Here is the dummy load resistor which in this case is a 4.7 ohm resistor mounted on a RCA connector plugged in to the amp speaker jack. Now you're going to connect the audio generator. I have it set at sine wave output approximately 700 Hertz at 200 millivolts and that is plugged into the instrument input jack. You're going to set the bass and treble controls to 5. The volume control can be adjusted for the proper amplitude while checking the test points on the marked up diagram. Here's our marked up diagram for the CHAMP model AA764. I've added the test points. You can see test point 1 comes right off the input jacks. And then we swing up to test point 2 which is off of the volume control. Test point 3 actually feeds pin 5 of the 6V6 tube. Pin 4 is the cathode resistor. You can actually monitor audio there and pin 5 is the speaker output jack. So if you trace this amp in that order and you find a failure it's going to be somewhere between the test points. Well, here we go. Let's check our test points on this Fender Champ. So a word of caution. Do not measure voltages direct on the plates of the tubes. There's high voltage present that could damage your signal tracer. The test points that I have added to the diagram on the other side of the coupling caps which block that hazardous DC. Okay, so here is test point one and that is coming right off of the signal generator. Test point two is up here on the middle of the volume control. You can see that's very low now if I increase the volume my level increases with it because that is going through the first triode of the 12AX7. Test point 3 sits here, and you have much more gain now. Test point 3 also swings over and goes to pin 5 of the 6V6. Okay. Test point 4 is actually the cathode of the 6V6. You notice that signal is very low. That's because it is just the cathode current. There's a low voltage test point, but it shows you that the tube is actually conducting and producing audio. And then test point five is the speaker output. So we just verified that this amplifier can take in a signal. It's going through the amplification stages and making it to the speaker output. So this is an operational amplifier.